tell me how you learn. That's the motto of our video series in which people share their personal experiences, tips and insights on learning. My learning motto is that learn to learn is the future skill. So hello, today we are in Porto Alegre, Brazil at the Casa da Vida uh, in the house of life. Our guest today is Leo Consalves. Leo Consalves, thank you. Leo is running a learning hub, which is deeply inspired by Learn Life. Yeah. Uh, Leo, please, can you tell us a little bit, give us some background information, who you are and how you are connected to Learn Life? I did my bachelor in business management. And after I did my master in finance, I'm doing my PhD in innovation. But education was always there. Uh, I have with my wife a kindergarten for 15 years. Wow. And we were always talking about that and how we can make a, a better education. But during my PhD in innovation, I started here, Casa da Vida, as a model that we were trying. And in the middle, in the first year, I went to Barcelona. And in the first week I was there, I went to learn life. And I asked them, can I, can I look a little around it? I, I look at it and it makes total sense for me. And I really want a model that works. And they said, okay, you are free to go. And I went there every morning during my stay there, five months. So it was great. Can we say that this learning experience or whatever you experienced there at the Learn Life Hub in Barcelona, that this was one kind of a wow yeah. uh, thing that you really learned something. What oh. is it? What was the major thing you took away from there? The idea there was, watch, I can go to the idea that we need to change education. It's easy to go there. When we normally go to the next steps, that is how we do this, how we can make this new paradigm of education that means different from the old, the regular education. How we can do that? Learn Life brings me a model that was already running and um, super interesting with a lot of real experiences. So for me, it was like that, okay, now I can see that. It, it really can happen, this new paradigm. It is empowering kids. They are loving what they are doing here. And when I come back uh, to Brazil, I said to my wife, Okay, now I know I saw that and I know how to run that. I was totally wrong because when I started here, I saw that was so many things I didn't know. But after that, I kept in touch with Learn Life and it was amazing. It is super inspiring for me and for a lot of schools around the world. So. How would you describe your own way of learning? How do you learn? The idea is learn to learn. So. We live in a contest in which uh, we are rapidly changing. The jobs will change in the next five to 10 years. Half of the jobs will completely disappear. The technologies we will use in the next one or two years, we never know that. It, it's not been invented yet. So how can we be prepared for that? And it's not about a content. But it's one main skill that is how to learn faster, how to learn to learn. So the, the whole idea of this new paradigm is learn to learn. But this is not what we usually see, what kids would learn at school or what adults would learn in any kind of vocational training. Uh, do you think that learning will change in the future? And if so, in which way? The need for these changes right now is not about the future, but the main points I can see is first, this idea of the passion and the life purpose. Learn by what you really believe. We have here this idea of you can choose what you will learn. We have, for example, one building block this, that is an open studio. Like it's open, you can choose that. So it's so engaging. So this is the first one. The second one is about an emergent model, like uh, uh, the technology is there 
And we need to use that in a way that the teacher is not just uh, making a lecture. And the third one is that intelligence emotion, like uh, we have a connection between the teacher that we call here the, a learning guide and the student. So it's, it's not a cold uh, relation. So I really believe that is the model of the future that we need for the education zone. So when we look around here at the Casa da Vida, is this the way how you imagine uh, a learning space in the future? Not yet, but I think that we have some points here. And one thing that I would highlight about that is that the walls shouldn't divide contents. They should be different ways of learning. Like we can learn math in our dojo, in our lab, in each one of these spaces, in the outdoor, for example. But uh, the content we can have in each one, but in a different way. How do you space. imagine the future learning space? What is lacking here still, yeah. besides more space? I think that in each studio, because we use the thematic studios here, we have carpentry, we have multimedia, we have food labs, um, robotics, and I think that they need to be professional. Like we, we need to have the best for the experience there. And when the kid arrives there, he starts using uh, step by step, he gain, the, gain this autonomy and advance it, but use the whole space. When you look at you personally, at yourself, where do you learn best? Well, I like to learn when I go to a coffee shop. For, for me, it's like the best way there. I put some music and I, I uh, it's like uh, I am invisible there. And when do you learn best? I think early in the morning for me is the best. I, I like to, to be the first one in, in the house to stay up and start doing during everyone is, is, is sleeping. So for me, I, I, I really like this start of the, the day. The early morning, is it? Morning, yeah. uh, why do you learn? What is driving you? I want to know that I'm able to learn whatever I want. So uh, when I go to that side, I can see that every content, everything I can learn. And this is what motivates me to, to go on and go deeper and learn more and try to support the others to having this, this feeling that we can learn wherever we, we want. It's about our own development. What does learning success mean to you? How would you define this? I can answer this for the other side. I think that the only way you lose is when you give up. So what we try to, to to support the kids and everyone is like you never give up. So a success is when we keep trying, even when it's hard, you try again. And you see that uh, it's, it's possible to do that. This is another point I would be very interested in. How do you think can we uh, transform or translate your spot here into the corporate field? This is something I'm thinking a lot. I think that if this way of learning is way more intelligent, smart than the regular we have now, uh, it can be used for everything. So the companies can use also that. It's not depending on the content they will learn, but the way and support them to, be, to have this autonomy. So I think that's the way and everyone, not dependent from the age can have and not depending if it's a company or it's a student um, or an employee. Do you have a very favorite uh, learning format? A digital tool or a non-digital tool? I really like, for example, uh, Waldorf and Montessori that we use a lot in our youngers in the other school. And th this is so nice because they are so uh, connected, the, the humankind and uh, the human being. It's not this cold way we have now. But for the other side, I think that these models also should have 
the emergencies, things we have now, like the internet, the technologies and all of that. So this is a mixed. And uh, I think for different contexts, we can use different models. But these two, for example, I really like them. When you think about learning, with which color would you associate learning? Oh, well, my favorite color is green. But if I put that in the education, I will change it for the yellow. I think yellow is more vibrant, like uh, we need to stay up like a sun. And uh, for the learning, we have to be enthusiastic and, and excited. Learning needs to be exciting. So the yellow brings me that. So Leo, when you think about animals, from which animal would you like to learn what? I think that the animal that comes to my mind is the dog. Like the trust that the dog has in their human and the, the honor and is like, a, for us, is an inspiration. Like uh, we really trust ourselves as a dog trust in their in their uh, honor. I'm not sure of that, so I really like that. This entire organism here, it's really lively. It's breathing. It's a unity, like you say. It's a casa. It's also a learning organization, right? As what are the the key virtues or the, the key components to create such a learning organism that not only the single individual is learning, but the organization, the community as a whole. You know that when we did this training of our learning guides and sharing, we shared a lot of ideas and we have we can have a team with this. So, uh, I think that we have a really nice team nowadays because we did it together. I brought the, the, the main idea, the highlights, but after that we did it together. And, uh, and this is the whole, the main point for to have a, a learning organization that seems in their leaders that they are learning also. How did you train your people? the people who are working there, here, the learning guides, how did you train them? How did you get them on the same mission you are on? I asked help for Learn Life. So we did a training there. Um, and the idea was to, to have what I saw there and start to, to, to having this in practice. And this is, was my first team that I put to have this training with that experience that they have already there. And it was way important to start and balance this, this first level. After that, we, we keep running and the next explain to the others that are coming. So it keeps, but uh, Learn Life have a, a super important role in this training and this level of my learning guides, totally. What makes it so super important? What are the pillars? I think that first, the experience they are having there. And more than that, the learning guides, they have this open mind to help, to support us, that we can make our own experience to our context. This new paradigm, we can understand it, but in practice, we back to the regular way of doing. So I think that was the most important. They, they just support us, like, how would you do that? And our learning guide start doing and have a sensibility to, to conduct, to support us to our own learning experience, our hub. And the last one is my learning motto is? My learning motto is that learn to learn is the future skill. Thanks a lot, Leo. It was very nice being here and thanks for showing me around. It Thank was a you. pleasure. Thank you for inviting me here for, for that. And uh, I'm super happy to share this with our audience. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video. We hope you liked it and please come back to our next episode of Tell Me How You Learn.